Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about the fuel system of an aircraft. First, let's see what is a fuel system. The fuel system stores fuel in the tanks and then supplies this fuel to the engines and the APU. It also provides indications such as the fuel quantity and the fuel temperature in the cockpit. The fuel system varies significantly for each aircraft. So I have generally classified them as gravity feed system and pressure feed system. In a gravity feed system, the fuel will be stored in one or more fuel tanks. From the tanks, the fuel flows through a selector valve. This selector valve can be used to select which tank should deliver fuel to the engine. Fuel can be taken only from the left tank or only from the right tank. But under normal operations, the fuel is taken from both the tanks. The valve can also be set to cut off the fuel supply to the engine in case of an emergency. After the selector valve, the fuel flows through a filter. This filter is used to remove any impurities in the fuel. From the filter, the fuel may be sent to the primer during the engine start sequence or to the carburetor after the engine has started. The carburetor creates a fuel air mixture that is sent to the engine for burning. As we can see here, this is a simple fuel system. In this system, for the fuel to reach the engine, it must flow downward with the help of gravity. So the fuel tanks have to be placed at a higher level compared to the other components. So this type of fuel system can only be used in a high wing single engine aircraft. Next we will look at the pressure feed fuel system. This system is widely used in all multi-engine aircraft. In this system, the fuel is stored in different tanks. These tanks may be located in the wings or in the fuselage. All these tanks are interconnected to allow the transfer of fuel. On the wing tanks, pumps are installed. These pumps are used to increase the fuel pressure before they are sent to the engine for combustion. They also maintain a constant flow of fuel irrespective of the aircraft's attitude. After the pumps, the fuel passes through filters. These filters are used to remove impurities or particles from the fuel. After the filter, before the fuel goes into the engine's combustion chamber, it passes through a fuel oil heat exchanger. This is used to reduce the oil temperature and increase the fuel temperature, which is also called as preheating of the fuel. The wing tanks are interconnected and the flow is controlled by a cross feed valve. This valve allows direct inter tank fuel transfer, which is essential in case of an engine failure. So, if there is a right engine failure, fuel from the right tank is transferred to the left tank via the cross feed valve. The cross feed valve is also helpful in case of failure of both the pumps in a tank. In this case, pressurized fuel from the left tank is transferred to the right engine. On the cross feed line, the supply line to the APU is connected, so the APU can consume fuel from any of the available tanks. We saw failure of pumps in one wing. If we consider failure of all the pumps in both the wings, then there is a small gravity feed pump which supplies fuel to the engines using gravity. Along with these components, the aircraft's fuel system has a refuel defuel line, which is used to fill the tanks with fuel or to remove the fuel from the tanks. In addition to the fuel tanks, there is another tank called as the vent tanks or surge tanks. These tanks allow air into the fuel tanks to stabilize the air pressure as the fuel is being consumed. It also provides additional space that allows fuel expansion due to temperature variation and absorbs pressure surges of the fuel. In the cockpit, indications are provided for the quantity of fuel in each of the tanks, the temperature of the fuel, the operation of the pumps, and the cross feed valve position. All these components and indications ensure a continuous 
and the safe supply of fuel to the engines. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.